Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'd like to draw your attention to an interesting project that is in its infancy in the hopes that it gains some traction. Uh, most of you are probably already familiar with Google self-learning AI AlphaZero. Well, AlphaZero has a relative. Allow me to introduce you to Leela Chess Zero. There are a few things to me that make Leela Chess interesting. For one, you can look at the games Leela has played. Two, you can be a contributor to help make Leela stronger. And three, you can play against Leela at any of its past strengths, which makes for a pretty cool training partner. Um, that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'll be sharing a game where I play against Leela at its current top strength. Before I do that, I'd like to share some numbers with you. So I guess this project started around mid-February. And as we can see, these cumulative self-play games, the rating, the more self-play games, the higher the rating. Do know that this rating does not directly correspond to the ratings we're familiar with. Uh, so, from what I read, th at right around this point here, May, or excuse me, March 31st, once it had about 1.6 million self-play games under its belt, this 4343 self-play rating corresponds to roughly 2,000 level. So, like an expert level chess player. Now, where are we Currently, as I record this video, we're not at 1.6 games, but rather right around 2.4. And so I imagine it's probably strong expert strength at this stage. This is just a quick graph, a couple outliers here, but the main thing here is that we can see a trend. The more self-play self games, the stronger Leela becomes. That's to be expected. Now, this is a distributed project. Clearly, there's uh, no one person that has the type of power that Google has with uh, al you know this Alpha Zero. But this is being made up by having Leela train herself across hundreds of computers. Now, if you're interested in that or interested in playing, check out the links in the description and. You know, feel free to educate yourself more about Leela Chess. Um, I'm going to dive in right now and see how strong Leela currently is. So let me go ahead and bring this up here. This right here is just the one of the pages that I will link in the description at GitHub. You can see how you can get started with uh, downloading and running Lee Chess and see recent test matches and all this other stuff. But for now, I'm just going to jump right in and see how strong Leela currently is. I'm going to play a game here. So what do they have before I maximize the board here? It's sharing. If you want to help make Leela Chess Zero stronger, think about contributing your GPU to right there have it highlighted now i'm not going to play the game in slow mode it would make for a stronger game but i'm just going to do it where it's i think it'll play like after just a second so this is pretty cool uh to be able to to be able to play against a self-learner so let's just see what happens here i've already played it several games this is the first time i'm playing uh while recording and I have lost twice. Uh, I've won some games, but yeah, it's it's a it's a battle. So let's see what Leela throws my way. Okay, we're well, guess we're going for no Grunfeld. I've had it play uh, the King's Indian against me before, and I'm gonna go for something similar, a uh, Zamish. Yep, so far similar to 
position I've had before. And I'm going to put a pawn on d5, just grab some space. There we go. And I want my knight on e2. I, I can't draw any lines or circles, so... The bishop on d3 before my knight on e2. Alright. I don't really care if my knight gets kicked. It's just castle. Okay, I'm moving forward. I'm currently offsetting this knight. Open C file. Mm, I'm not sure if it really matters which rook I go to C1 with. I guess I'll go here. With the queen rook. Now this right here is certainly a welcome exchange for me. This is my bad bishop. And I can, I can maybe look to one day uh, camp out on C6. So I think the rook is inconvenienced by playing here because it doesn't really have lateral movement. It has to kind of go back to the corner square before it tries to even contest the c-file now. So in the meantime, what can I do with my rook? I want to get the f-rook playing, so I just want to double up. I guess rook c6 or c4. Do I want, Am I okay with a queen or a rook trade? I would get a passed pawn. I feel that there's a simpler approach. I'm just going to double up. Now, this really feels like uh, Lila at this point is kind of struggling to really do something, going from a closed file to a closed file. So, okay. I'm definitely for choice here. Um, how do I make progress? If I play knight g3, currently this knight doesn't have many squares. The back the backward moves are no good. It only has one good forward move. I want to reposition this knight. But if I go here, I imagine h5, and then I'm going to end up getting kicked. Knight g3 and h5. If I try to stop h5 with h4, this pawn is going to be vulnerable to the queen. So I'm going to reposition this knight on e2 to the d3 square. So that's why I want to go knight c1, but I also don't want to allow b3. So I'm going to stop b3. I don't want this rook to become active. Okay, knight h5. So clearly opening up the queen's eyes with an eye on the f4 square as well. I'm just going to go in for this. Knight f4. Okay getting a bit scary <laughs> um yeah so i mean there's maybe these ideas queen g5 and knight h3 i don't know if i want to give the knight a kick or not i feel like i just want to give it a kick yeah yeah i have some space i don't i don't want to go here and trade knights let's just flush the knight back and let's get my knight playing Okay, so there's a lot of wasted time there. Knight h5, knight f4, knight h5, knight f6. Okay. Meanwhile, I have all my pieces doing some good things here on the, the c file. The rook's doing good things on the c file. How do I really, uh... I don't know, how do I convert this? Hmm. Um, well, actually I could go to c6. This is maybe an improvement. Put pressure on d6. And where do I go from here? Oh, this knight. Okay, so when my knight was on e2, he's negated by the pawn on e5. Knight on d3 is negated by the pawn on d6. So I'm going to look to reposition my knight on c4. Let's go knight b4 to c4. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of nothing moves. So, I mean, we've, we've experienced this with chess engines. Not the self-play type. But we've experienced this point of, uh, you know, a position type where the computer kind of struggles. You know, programs struggle to come up with an active plan. It is a pretty locked position. Controlled. I'm going to jump in here. So I'm really coordinating on the b6 square. And I can now go pawn hunting, actually. Bishop to b6. And then scoop up the a5 pawn. Now... Queen here, trying to sacrifice there. I have my queen around to neutralize any of that. I may be even 
able to force a queen exchange. Come to think of that, because... Uh, I'm thinking about rook to c6, and if queen to d8, rook takes f7. But there'd be rook takes bishop. If I immediately recapture, then the rook is captured here. But if I go here, it pretty much forces queen h3, and then after queen g2, I, I basically see this position, if I, if I can make sure the queen is off the board, pretty much a win, because I'm, I'm controlling the queen side of the board, and there's no attack against my king side. And I really don't even think that there's an attack against my king side with the queens on, but just trying to keep it really simple. I'll, 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 give, the, I'll give it a test. See if the queen goes here. Yeah. Because I could always return. Yeah, let me go ahead and return. I'll go for this variation. It was worth a shot. Okay, now I definitely want to stop this kind of tactic. All right, so it does not want a queen exchange. But now that my bishop is on a5, if I go here, queen to d8, then I have queen uh, rook takes pawn, and I believe the queen is just dead. No? Really close to dead. I'm going to go rook c7 now. Oh, no, no, no. There's queen to b5. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's see if it repeats. Queen h3? Yeah, <laughs> wants to go in for this sacrifice. All right, I'll just go here. One of the games that I played against it, it really made a a human-like mistake. Like, thinking you could protect a piece when uh, I could end up just capturing it. Um, anyhow, yeah, it makes human-like mistakes. It's pretty interesting. All right, I'm going to go with this. See where the queen goes. Okay, so it is going back. I thought it would go to b5. And I'm going to take on f7. I don't see anything wrong with that. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, I can return. I'm up two pawns now. My rook is going on a rampage. And I have more things, more discoveries. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to go too crazy with that stuff, though. Knight takes pawn, queen takes rook. Let me just return. Okay. And how about my queen maybe comes in like this? Yeah, queen h3 and then a rook move. And that's that's going to force a queen exchange. Let's go queen h3. Okay, so I could do this. Hmm. How about we get the bishop out of harm's way, for starters? Okay, now... Now I could force a queen exchange. With rook b7. I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's get the queens off. And now I just want to be a trading machine. There's nothing going on over here. These knights are all under control by my pawns alone. And I'm up two pawns. So there isn't even this f5 break. So I just want to keep this squeaky clean. But you could definitely see the resistance it puts up. Let's go here. Let's hunt down the B pawn if we can. I'll trade rooks. And I can even go here, block the rook, and take this pawn down. So now it's kind of falling apart for sure. Let's throw. Well, let's just back up like here. In case the bishop tries to get active. We'll go here, defend the knight. Move this knight and then push my a pawn is the plan. I guess we'll go here. I could also look to connect knights and here we go. Let's get these extra pawns going. Here we go. Continue to march. My knight is defended. And yeah, from here it should not be too difficult. Have my knight defended. And these guys are pushing through. Yeah. Just take... Uh, let's just take a step to stop the bishop. Go here, and then get the rook off. Okay. Just these last moves are not going to be an issue. No problems here. No stalemates. Give a check. 
And is there a faster mate than a mate in two? I don't know. Anything. Yeah, right here. The pawn could move. And then this is mate. Okay. Um, That's all I'm going to do in this game. That was a, a longer game than I expected. Very interesting thing that they have going on here. So whoever is already involved with this, I'm really interested to kind of keep an eye on the progress and see, you know, what strength it's going to get to. And maybe at a future time I could give this one another go. Currently this is ID82 that I'm playing against. Uh, maybe we'll see a video at some point where I'm playing against a stronger version of this. Uh, I would suggest uh, those of you who are interested in maybe playing against Leela, uh, I would suggest you, you do it soon if you're you're trying to maybe get a win in before it's just too strong because it is growing rapidly and maybe with uh, a little bit of ex exposure through this video, it'll uh, maybe uh, take off a bit more. But uh, anyhow, I have uh, a few links for you in the description to this video. And uh, as usual, I hope you uh, enjoy this one, maybe uh, find it interesting, and uh, we'll see the progress Leela ends up making. That's all for now. Take care.